Good afternoon. How are you today? How are you today, my lovely students? I hope you're doing well. It's math class and today we don't have a new lesson because we are going to continue the lesson we have started before about time to the half hour. So I think most of you get to know what does time to the half hour mean and how to read and tell the time to the half hour. Before starting the lesson, I want you to get your math book and grab some pencils too. And let's read the day and date together. So what is the day? The day is Monday. And the date is? May 11, 2020. Well done. So everyone, before I talked about the importance of time, time is very important and you need to learn how to read until the time. And I want you, whenever you have a chance, to look at uh, the analog clock in your house if you have and try to practice reading the time. Time to the hour and time to the half hour. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to tell and write time to the nearest half hour. So are you ready to learn? Yes! So well done. So everyone, I want you also to, um, you know, to be focused and to listen carefully. So the lesson of today is not that hard because we're going to revise and continue the lesson, as I said to you, uh, the lesson that we have started before. mental math time you know the question of today is super easy i just want you to take your time look at the question and try to solve it please take your time to avoid any mistake so i want you to look at the question and tell me what shall we do we will write the missing numbers in the boxes okay so look over here everyone and tell me what numbers are we going to write and how you will know these numbers? Look at the pattern, everyone. Look at the pattern over here. So, let's go to the first one. So, let's read. Write the missing numbers. 0, 1. You write 2 because after 1 comes 2. Well then, continue. 3, 4, 5. Six. It's seven because after six comes seven. So we're counting by ones. This is correct. Here we're counting by ones. And here, five, ten. After ten comes fifteen because we just keep counting by five. And then after fifteen comes twenty. Twenty-five, thirty. Thirty-five, forty. They wrote 40. What comes after 40? 40? 45. So that's the answer. So we skipped counting or we skipped count by? 5. Great. And here is the problem of the day in the English class today. We have learned that problem is something we need to think about it and also find a solution and finally solve it. Okay, so here we have a problem. What time does the clock show? You have here uh, four options and you need to choose one of them. Remember, when you read the time, you need to look at the short hand first. Okay, so look at the short hand first. So, what time is it? It's two o'clock because the short hand is pointing at two and the long hand is pointing at 12 and 12 means zero minutes so it's two o'clock great and here is a video about time to the half hour i want you to watch the video everyone and pay attention and try to collect information about time to the half hour So in the previous lesson, we talked about two types of clocks. Can you help me to remember these clocks? Yes. 
we have two types of clocks analog clock and digital clock an analog clock has two hands an hour hand and a minute hand while the digital clock has only digits that means numbers Thank you for helping. So everyone, this is the analog clock and this is the digital clock. So I want you to say analog clock. Analog clock. Digital clock. Digital clock. So everyone, if you look at the analog clock, you can see the short hand is in between number three and four, right? So if I want you to read the time, what you're going to say? It's 3.30 or half past 3. Yeah, but you cannot say 4 because the it short... It still did not reach 4. Well done. Still? It's on its way. Okay, and what about the long hand? The long hand is on 6. That means it's 30. Okay, so the, short, the long hand cut the analog clock into two halves. Half. Well done. Great. So that's why we're going to say it's half past three, 3 or 3.30. 3 so look at the long one. It stopped in the middle of the way. It stopped in the middle of the way. It stopped here. So that's why. Or let me say it stopped in the middle of the analog clock. So that's why we're going to say it's half past 3, 3 or 3.30. 3.30 Okay, and we're gonna read it here as 3.30 So everyone, I want you to open your math book Please go to page 603 Great, and I want you to write the day and date So everyone, look at the uh, Look at the clocks we have the analog clock and the digital clock. So I need your help to read the time. So are you ready to help me? Yes! I need your help, everyone. So we're going to write the time. What you are going to do first is to look at the short one. So the short one is between 9 and 10, right? But it's not 10 yet. Yes. It's coming from 9. So we're going to write 9. 30. And look at the long one, it's in the middle of the clock. So if the long one is in the middle of the clock, you're going to write 30. 39, 30, and half past 9. Great. So everyone, let's move on to number 2. I want you to look at the short hand first, or the hour hand. And as you can see, it's between 5 and 6, but it's not 6 yet. So that's why we're going to write 5, because it's coming from... Five, so five. Thirty. Thirty and half past five. Finally, look at the short hand. It's between ten and eleven, but it's not eleven yet. It's going. It's on its way to eleven. So it's gonna be ten thirty. It's gonna be ten thirty or half past ten. Great! And now turn the page and go to page 604. Write the day and date, don't forget, okay? So draw the hands on each clock, write the time. So, half past one, half past one. Okay, so let's say everyone, okay, read it one more time, half, half past, past one. one. So the short one will be will it oh. So let's read it one more time everyone. So half past one. one. So the short hand or the hour hand will be between one and two because it said half past. Okay, it will be between one and two. two. This is the short one. And what about the long one? The long one will be on number 6, or I should say it will be in the middle of the analog clock. So what is the time, everyone? Half past 1, or I could say 1.30.
Excellent. So let's write one thirty. Thirty. Okay. Let's move to number five. Let's read it together. Half past eleven. Half past eleven. So it will be between eleven and twelve because it said half past, and the the short hand I mean will be between eleven and twelve, and the long hand will be on number six. So it will be eleven between eleven and twelve, and the long one will be in the middle of the clock. Okay, everyone, that's it. So here the time is eleven thirty. So everyone, how do you read time to the nearest half hour? We have learned how to read the time and I want you to practice reading the time whenever you have a chance. Just look at the analog clock or the digital clock, whatever, and try to read it. Ask the help of your mom, your dad, or your siblings, okay? Please, I want you to practice reading the time. This is very important. And finally, there is a game over here and I want you to click on the link and Play the game. You're going to enjoy it. So have a great day, everyone. I love you. Bye.